welcome to Mrs. Brown's boy. She's Mrs. Brown. That's Mrs. Brown. Oh, Mrs. Brown. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> you know, I always feel such a sense of joy this day every year. <laughs> it's my anniversary. 27 years this year. Good morning, Winnie. Good morning. Happy anniversary. Thank you, love. Uh, do you know, it seems like yesterday. I know. I was behind you as you walked down that aisle. <laughs> And I looked past you, and I could see your red, sir, in front of the altar. In the coffin. <laughs> Weren't the flowers beautiful? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, I think I'll treat myself this year. A party? No, a trip away somewhere. Nowhere grand. You know, just maybe Galway or the Isle of Man. Galway races are on next week. That's right, Winnie. I could do that. Hiya, Mammy. Hello, son. How are you, Mrs. McGugan? How are you, Rory? You look very down, love. What's wrong? A take that break up again? <laughs> oh, Mummy, don't say that. I'd ride that Gary Barlow. <laughs> Did I say that out loud? Yes! <laughs> it's poor Dino. He hates living in that hotel since he lost his bed sit. Last week you said that you already had an apartment. But that's what we thought. Now the owner is saying he's not sure if we can have it for a couple of weeks. If it's only two weeks, we can stay here. With Dermot gone, there's plenty of room. Really? Yes! Oh, that'd be fabulous. Is that the time already? i better go. Look, and Rory, tell Dino I'll do that thing for him. What's Winnie doing for Dino? I'm not sure. I, I, I wasn't really listening. And Mammy... To thank you, I'm going to do something really special for you. Oh, no, no, there's no need. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go in and ring Dino now and tell him. Do you know, I knew this was going to happen. Jimmy Janocki said it would. Who the Jesus is Jimmy Janocki? The psychic. He's amazing. I ring his psychic line once a week. He sees dead people. He sees gobshites with credit cards. <laughs> Hello. Is that St. Mary of the Universe, home for the bewildered? Sorry, elderly. <laughs> yes. I'm inquiring about the cost of putting a man in there for two weeks. Yes. Well, I... Yes, I'll hold. Winnie, I'm on hold. I'm trying to find somewhere to put... The man that God forgot. <laughs> well, I have me break. Put the kettle on. Hello, yes. I was speaking to one of your colleagues. <laughs> yes, concerning the financial input. In... Yes, I'll hold. <laughs> Spend me fucking day on hold. <laughs> Hello, yes. Well, no, what do I was trying... How long am I on hold? Well, let me see. I was ringing about putting somebody into your home. But actually, I've been so long on hold, he's fucking dead. <laughs> That's the fourth home I called this morning. I can't believe the prices they're charging. For that kind of money, he can go to Galway, I'll stay in the booking home. <laughs> Why, how much? Too much. I never get away for this feckin' trip. Oh, of course you will. Someone will take him for two weeks. <laughs> Not me. I mean, I would, but Jacko could come out of hospital any day, Agnes. Of course he could. <laughs> I can't believe the price they charge. You know, the Heaven's Gate home is cheap, but that's because they found Legionnaire's disease there. Did they? <gasps> Grandad, pack your fucking bags. <laughs> it's Bonanza Construction. <laughs> yeah. What do you want? Right, Mrs. Brown. It's time to pick your sink and your taps. Am I on some kind of budget here? It doesn't matter what the price says in there. You just pick out whichever one you want. Cool. Oh, I like that one. No, not that one. 
<laughs> That's a nice one. No, they're very unreliable. An unreliable sink? Well, you wouldn't want an unreliable sink. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. <laughs> what about that one? No. That one? Nah. That one? What about that one? Now, you'd think that one was good, but they suffer from tin worm. <laughs> tin worm? Which one would you recommend? Well, now it's up to you. Keep looking. <laughs> what about this one here? The one with the big red circle around it and the X beside it. <laughs> Great choice. <laughs> right, Buffalo Bill, unload the sink. You like it, Mrs. Brown? It's a lovely sink. Fine, I'm sure it'll be fine. I'll tell Billy the kid, the plumber. When are you going to start this job? Well, I have Jesse James the spark starting on Friday. And we'll be in to do the wiring first thing on Monday. I'll see you. Jesse James, they're all very peculiar names. There's a lot of cowboys in this business, Mrs. Brown. <laughs> Yeehaw! <laughs> I can't believe he did that fucking joke. You know, it's a pity Dr. Flynn can't sort something out for Grandad for a couple of weeks. He's just when you might have something there. I think I need to call me a doctor. <laughs> I'd be very tired in the mornings, you know, what with looking after Grandad. Patient Agnes Brown. Age? Fine. Everybody needs a break, I suppose. Especially when you're looking after Grandad. Weight? 145 pounds. <laughs> That's because I'm run down, you know, looking after Grandad. 175 pounds. <laughs> Height? Five foot ten. <laughs> Five foot three. Are you shrinking me sleep? That's because of the stress. <laughs> Grandad. I need to take your pressure, Mrs. Brown. I knew this was coming. You see, what I think... <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. You know what I could really do with this Grandad going into hospital for a couple of weeks for spite care? Respite care is only given to the really needy. I'm really needy. <laughs> I'm really needy of a weeky breaky. Your blood pressure's quite high. Well, are you surprised? I was tall and slim before you got here. <laughs> now I'm a fat fucking midget. I'll give you something to take that down. What I really need is a holiday away from Grandad. Mrs. Brown, the department would come out and test Grandad. They'd see that he doesn't need special care. What kind of tests? Well, they test him for dementia. Dementia, that's the one. Get him down to test him. But he's not demented. Get him down to test him. Fine. But I'm telling you now, he won't qualify. You leave that to me, Doctor. <laughs> By the time they get here, he'll be as mad as a fucking brush. We're here! Hello, boys. Oh, Mrs. Brown, thanks very much for allowing me to stay. No problem, Dino. Actually, I didn't know you were homeless. If I'd known you were homeless, I would have invited you a lot sooner. Oh, Dino. Oh, Rory. Oh, Dino. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I prepared a little breakfast for you. You have a long day ahead, so I thought I'd treat you. Breakfast for me? I haven't had breakfast cooked for me in... ever. Well, today's the day. Sit yourself down now. Thank you very much, son. What's this shit? <laughs> I mean, I mean, well, what is this? It's eggs, Florentine. A lightly poached egg with cream spinach and a hollandaise sauce on a grilled crouton. Toast. <laughs> Very good toast. <laughs> right, I'm off. 
toast. <laughs> Toaster. <laughs> Spinach for fucking breakfast. Morning, Mammy. You just missed Heston Blumenthal. Ah, Mammy, Dino's just trying to be nice. I appreciate that, but this is my kitchen. Let him be thinking nice somewhere else. Do you want a cup of tea, love? With a crouton? Just tea. You sleep all right, love? Oh, yeah. Lovely. Will you tell Dino to stop making that bed? My God, you think he never slept in it? Morning. Morning, Mrs. McGugan. Rory. Tell Dino I'll be there on time, six o'clock. Uh, yeah, right, I'll tell him. I'd better be off. Bye. What about your fucking tea? When you get yourself tea, will you? All right. I have to get Grandad ready for his test. What test? The test is coming to test him for the home. Oh. It's like a quiz. Oh, I love quizzes. That's nice. <laughs> now, Grandad, when the tester gets here, Tomorrow, when he asks you a question, what have you to do? Get right answers. Is correct. And if you get the wrong answers, he'll... Shoot me. <laughs> With a big gun. <laughs> now, I've asked around, and the first question they always ask is, what is the highest mountain in the world? Everest. No, it's the Amazon. <laughs> the Amazon's a river. <laughs> <laughs> Look how confused you are. Ask Winnie. Winnie, what's the tallest mountain in the world? What you said it was, Agnes. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> now, Grandad, question two. What singer is famous for the moonwalk? Michael Jackson. <laughs> Neil Armstrong. <laughs> Winnie, Neil Armstrong. <laughs> Neil Armstrong. Now, right answer. No, there you go. To go for it. <laughs> And the prize? A week in Galway for me! Here we go, Mrs. Brown. A cider for you and a gin and tonic for Mrs. McGugan. Winnie, where is she? She's on her way. Oh, she was a fantastic model. Model? What do you mean, model? In the hairdressing competition. When he was my model. It's a pity Rory wasn't in it. I could have been his model. Oh, he was, Mrs. Brown. And he did have a model. <laughs> well, geez, I hope Winnie doesn't end up looking like a thickin' badger. <laughs> Winnie's after finding a fucking nest. So, where did you pack your motorbike? <laughs> it looks like you combed it up from under your arms. Agnes, darling. Well, what do you think? Hmm? I've seen better hairstyles than an elephant's testicles. <laughs> How are you, Mammy? So, who won your competition? <laughs> Rory did. Congratulations. Yes, we did, though we weren't up against much. I'll just go and get us a drink, Dino. <laughs> I would have been a good model. No, Rory said you didn't qualify. What do you mean I didn't qualify? Well, you probably have to have a thick growth, like mine. No. <laughs> the category was hairstyles for seniors. <laughs> it now. <laughs> I love you, son. Oh, thank God. <laughs> and, Mammy, yes, sir. remember I said I was going to do something special for you? Oh, no, you don't. Want to... Well, yes, you did. Yeah. Well, Cathy's at home waiting, and so is her surprise. Well, what are we doing here? Come on, let's get home. They're on their way. I've never taken part in one of these before, Mr. Janaki. Cathy, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. I wonder how Mammy's going to take it. There is nothing frightening about spirit world. Nothing. It's not the spirit world I'm worried about. <laughs> I can't wait for this fucking surprise. <laughs> Shit, we've been robbed. <laughs> no, Mammy. 
Remember the psychic I told you about? Psychic, my ass. Con man, you mean? Mammy, he's not a con man. He's a con man or a charlatan or a fucking nutcase. And he's he's in my fucking sitting room. <laughs> did, you, did you hear me? We all heard you. Why didn't you fucking tell me? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Oh, how do you do? <laughs> Mrs. Brown, I don't know how much Rory has told you. Do you not? And you're supposed to be a psychic. <laughs> but he asked me to come here tonight to try and contact your late husband, Red, sir. Not going to happen, love. Mumbo-jumbo, the whole feckin' lot of it, mumbo-jumbo. Well, that is a shame, Mrs. Brown, because you're much admired in the spirit world, much loved as a mother, but I won't waste your time. Well, <laughs> I mean, seeing as how you're here, we could always have a short go. Are you sure? Well, I don't want to disappoint my fans in the spirit world. <laughs> Let me dim the lights. <laughs> it's not the London Palladium, love. On or off, take your fucking pick. <laughs> off. Rory, get the lights. Rory, come to the light. Now, can we all, please, can we all just hold hands? Who's that beside me? It's me, Agnes. Agnes, that's not my hand you're holding. <laughs> now, I want us all to close our eyes and concentrate on those who were no longer with us. Close your eyes. You close your eyes. I close my eyes when you close yours. Now close your eyes. What's he now, the eye inspector? Close your book. Ah! <laughs> what a gee. Is he all right? Never mind him, I just wet me knickers. I sense... My sense of presence in this house, somebody who refuses to pass over to the spirit world. That's you, Grandad. <laughs> Mommy. Sorry. Speak to us. Is there anyone out there? Speak to us. <laughs> that was definitely you, Grandad. Agnes, it's me. It's your husband, Redsa. I don't believe it. Even in the spirit world, he's pissed. <laughs> Mommy, don't give him such a hard time. Agnes, do you miss me? Mommy! I'm fucking thinking. <laughs> I'm off, so. No, Daddy, don't go. Who's that? Who's that? It's your daughter, Cathy. And Rory's here as well. Hiya, Daddy. Ah, oh, Rory, have you found yourself a nice little wife? What? <laughs> Boyfriend, and his name is Dino. Ah, good for you, Cathy. And, and give my love to the rest of the family. Give it to Mark and Trevor and Dermot and Liam. Who the fuck is Liam? <laughs> I better go now, but I... I'd see you soon, Agnes. Yeah, right, but... but wait! <laughs> what do you mean, soon? How soon? Well, Agnes, they're telling me up here that I'll be reunited with my loved one tomorrow night at 11 o'clock. Tell me this is some kind of fucking joke. <laughs> I gotta go! I think he's fucking gone. <laughs> Ranger! 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 Can't you get the light? Ranger! Hello! <laughs> he fucking hung up. Did you hear that, Rory? Did you hear that? It's terrible. He thought Cathy was married to Dino. That's that. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. But, Mummy, I thought you didn't believe in any of that stuff anyway. You're right, I don't. 
I don't believe in that crap. Of course not, Mrs. Brown. I mean, nobody actually believes you're going to die at 11 o'clock tomorrow night. Free crabs! Free! <laughs> I tripped. <laughs> if what Jimmy Janucki says is true, I'm going to die in five minutes. No, you're not. <sighs> that clock is fast. <laughs> 20 minutes. Oh, no, wait. My watch has stopped. It is five minutes. <laughs> Four and a quarter. Willie, spare me the fucking countdown. <laughs> Probably not going to die at all, Agnes. I'm not going to die. I mean, you're not that old. I'm not that old. You seem in good shape. I'm in great shape. And Foley's is a safe place to be. It is a safe place to be. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you know, I know I'm not going to die. Because if I was going to die, my whole family would be here tonight. Exactly. How could you possibly die? Yeah. Unless from a heart attack or a stroke or a brain hemorrhage, which is basically a stroke. Winnie! <laughs> Sorry. I'm just making the point that we never know when death is going to tap us on the shoulder. Or maybe this whole thing is a big feckin' mistake. Ah! Is she gone? No. No. Can I have a word with you, Mrs. Brown? Make it a quick one, son. <laughs> Will you get me a pint? Will I get you half a pint, I guess? <laughs> pint it is. I just want to thank you for letting me stay. Fine. And being so understanding. Yeah, whatever. And you know, you don't have to make that bed every day, really. It looks like you haven't even slept in it. I haven't. What do you mean? Where do you sleep then? In Rory's bed. And where does Rory sleep? <laughs> In Rory's bed. We sleep together. <laughs> I'm fine. Oh, for God's sake. Sake. It's just a shock. I'm fine. Where's the body? <laughs> Too early. Take me yet, Lord. I know this is the time when Reza is to be reunited with his loved one. Ah! His loved one? The bastard! Ah! The double bastard! Ah! The triple bastard! Ah! Well, that explains Rory! Crabs. Yes. Apparently, Mr. Foley gave away the crabs that he didn't sell during the crab festival. Seven cases of food poisoning. Pretty bad, too. I'm just glad I'm alive. Come on. Let's go and see Grandad's health inspector. And be gentle with him. He tends to get confused. I'll leave you with it, Doctor. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you, Doctor. Goodbye, Doctor. Goodbye, Doctor. Goodbye, Doctor. Goodbye, doctor. Goodbye, doctor. <laughs> It's like booking Hulby City in here. <laughs> you need not be anxious, Grandad. Nobody's going to make you uncomfortable. Well, I'm glad to hear that, because he, he's been a bit jumpy lately. Ah! Uh, alien! It's an alien! <laughs> Grandad, do you know who that is behind me? Frankenstein! <laughs> You know, this might be better if I spoke to Grandad without you here. Well, I'd be upstairs. I, I have his bag ready, just in case. <laughs> alien! Alien! <laughs> now, Grandad, I just want you to relax while I ask you some questions. Don't shoot me! <laughs> what is the highest mountain in the world? 
I know this one. <laughs> the Amazon. Everest. No, it's the Amazon. <laughs> Grandad, the head of the British royal family is Queen Jemima. <laughs> Sorry, don't mind me. Actually, why don't you sit down and join us? Thank you. <laughs> oh, Grandad, who is the black singer famous for the moonwalk? Jackson. Neil Armstrong. <laughs> Question four. <laughs> Question 20. In the Bible, what was the name of Joseph the carpenter's very famous mystical son? A carpenter, you say? <laughs> mystical son's name. I have it. Pinocchio. That's him gone for a couple of weeks. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing here? And where's Winnie? I thought I heard Winnie down here. Where did you get all that money? I had a tenner on you to live. <laughs> Each way. <laughs> I learn something new every day. For instance, you should never judge anything, never mind a book, by its cover. <laughs> I thought that psychic was the real thing. But he's not. I'm alive. <laughs> and I thought Rory was cheating on me with Hillary. And he wasn't. And the health tester thought Winnie was off our rocker, and she's not. Well, not much. <laughs> and gambling is a mug's game. Right. I'm off for me week to the Galway races. <laughs> Are you coming or what? <laughs> Good night. Say hello to the Queen of Dublin. As the best of a ball, she wears the crown. Mother hen watching all the That she'd never let life get her down She's Mrs. Brown That's Mrs. Brown Oh, Mrs. Brown <laughs>